Hey everybody, it's Clarence Eckerson here from Street Films and as you know that we're in the middle of a crisis here in the United States and all over the world with the coronavirus. So I decided before the city and the state implement more strict guidelines in getting around, uh, I was going to take my bicycle into Manhattan, which I would do normally a few times a month to get B-roll about public spaces and bicycling and walking and transportation in New York. So I will have a lot of footage to contrast with what I normally would see on a trip like this. And I'm gonna go on a 20 mile excursion, stay well away from people observing 10 foot rule wherever I can. I'm only touching my own bike. I'm not gonna be stopping for food or anything. I have everything with me that I might need. And I'm gonna to try to show you guys what's going on on our streets right now, how people are getting around, what everything looks like. And of course, how the bicycle is one of the best ways to get around right now. So I hope this serves as a sort of historical document for people to look back on. And there's a Long Island Railroad train that appears to have basically nobody on it. And we're coming up on Skillman Avenue and I actually have seen my first signs of quite a bit of bike activity. Here we are, people doing some morning exercise, practicing plenty of social distancing. Now this is a little bit odd because usually by this time of the morning, if you were driving here, you couldn't find one parking space. All of these spaces are usually taken. Today, we practically don't even need a protected bike lane. And there's a seven train that I can honestly tell you, I don't see one person standing, which would be very unusual. Look at this roadway. I mean, this is usually backed up for about a dozen to 15 blocks every morning. Almost any other morning except weekends. This will be backed up on ramp to the Queensboro Bridge bike and pedestrian ramp. Now the numbers are down because obviously a lot of people don't have to go into work anymore, but there's still quite a few people biking and walking on the bridge on the Queensboro and the roadway. It's incredible. I've never seen the roadway move this quickly, except maybe on early on a Sunday morning, but also the air. I can't tell you the last time I went over this bridge and the air felt so clean. Very few drivers on the FDR today. Here comes the Roosevelt Island tram. And as you can see, almost nobody on that tram. That's very few people for one of their trams. Crosstown bike lane here on 55th seems to be pretty clear, probably because of the abundance of parking spaces due to not so many people being out in their cars. I think I've gone all the way from 2nd Avenue to what will be Broadway up here without having a car in the bike lane. There's some toilet paper. Toilet paper. Park Avenue. Park Avenue, of course, what it looks like during summer streets is quite different. Um, you could almost do a summer streets right now based upon the number of cars are here. We are all, of course, want some hope. We want some hope and we don't want to be afraid of anyone, but you know, we got to practice our six to 10 feet of separation, sadly. Heading to Times Square next. There are a few tourists here in Times Square practicing social distancing, of course. Look at all that advertising and nobody to see it. Lots of advertising. Why is it even on? Well, there's nobody here. This is quite spooky. I've shot footage probably dozens of times in Times Square. And it's almost a ghost town today. Yeah, basically uh, no comment right there. Not, I'm just gonna leave that there. Almost no one sitting outside Macy's here. Still have the seats out. A little bit of traffic on 34th Street. This section of Broadway has not one car driving on it, but I can count six bicycles. That's a pretty good ratio, six to zero. Lots and lots, lots and lots of deliveries everywhere you look. We have delivery workers that are literally risking their lives 
to make dozens of deliveries per day so that we can stay in our homes so a lot of us can still eat. So I hope everybody's giving out big tips and thanks. I'm pretty amazed to find that the green market is still on and there are customers. And of course, as you notice here, the busway is even more clear than usual. Not many people out, not many drivers, and we've got the busway right here. This bike lane is often problematic, but today nobody's blocking the 13th Street bike lane. Only thing blocking this bike lane is ice. A lot of speed on the avenues in Manhattan today where there is traffic. You can see traffic is moving at a pretty good clip. People waiting outside Trader Joe's because they're obviously limiting the number of people that can go in at a time. Over here I rode once with Mark Gorton during his typical rush hour commute and it was filled by people and bikes. Today, a few bikes. So as I expected, Central Park is a little more populated than most places because people are out here, they gotta get their exercise. Most people seem to be maintaining that social distance even if they're running with a friend or a loved one. So, uh, you know, still get out there, get their exercise. I am today, I'm just out here with my camera getting my exercise, staying away from people as much as possible.